stress is one of those things that I think we all face. In fact, it says that 62% of Americans experience stress at least two times a week. Um, it's been said that 70% of Americans have taken off more than one day just to take a break from stress. What is stress? Well, it's said that stress is your body's reaction to either physical or psychological things that you can't handle. And it causes what's called the fight or flight syndrome in your body. The adrenaline, it's pumped into your blood. All of a sudden your heart begins to work faster and your body begins to work faster because it has something that's caused it to become afraid and, and that it needs to act or something needs to happen. It was actually a safety mechanism that God built into us. But what happened was, is that for many of us, we live in a state of panic, a state of stress all the time. That adrenaline being resident in our blood all the time is creating all kinds of health issues. Heart disease, stress, stress caused by stroke, um, high blood pressure, all kinds of diseases that weren't even on the map before are there now because we live in a state of stress. Our students, our kids, it says that they're 50% more likely to use illegal or illicit drugs along with alcohol. They're 50% more likely to use those if they feel stressed. Did you know that, that our kids today are 70% more likely to be stressed than what they were even five years ago? You know why? It's because we have expectations, deadlines. We have all kinds of things, pressures that are put on us. You felt it. You felt stress from the relationships in your life. Some of us have felt stress from, from physical problems, difficulties in our body, whether it be a health issue or something else. We felt stress about parenting. We stress about t-ball, tap, dance. We stress about kitty litter, and you should. We stress about all kinds of things in our life that, that, that affects us. And so I know you're stressed and you know your stress, so let's try to figure out what God's answer is for the stress in our lives, and I think we're going to discover it here real quick. You know, one of the reasons why that we're stressed is that we're always in a, we're always in a hurry. We're always trying to get somewhere. We've got to be there five minutes ago. Get out of the way, dude. Get in the truck. But yeah, we're always in a hurry, and we're always trying to, to get there. We, 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 we never have enough time to finish all the things that we need to do. And our to-do list gets larger. It doesn't get smaller. It gets bigger. And the longer we go through life, the more we find that there's more expectations on our life. And you know what? Everybody's got an expectation for you, which cultivates and creates this environment of stress. And it's increased so many different illnesses among us and and you know one of the things that I discovered this week was 25 percent of Americans said that they would actually seek outside help for their stress you know what where can we get our help though? I mean where, where's the resource general practitioner doctors say that a lot large number of the visits that they actually have from people is not for physical ailments as much as it is for stress related issues and so we know that it's affecting us so where does our help come from where can we get our help you know, we can always go to the old standby. You guys remember this, Calgon, and uh, we can have a Calgon moment. Is that really going to solve my stress? It says it will. In fact, it says, if I don't kill us in the car, it says you can discover the ultimate in relaxation. So you can really, really relax with the Calgon stress reliever, and maybe that's where you find your relief. Now, I will tell you that I did find another uh, website, and one of the stress relievers that I discovered there was is that you need to take a laxative maybe that'll work for you and I found these they are actually the uh, generic brand and they're chocolatey maybe that's gonna fix you up I'll tell you what you take that and you will get some time alone because no one will really want to be with you anyway but where do we find our stress relief where, where is that gonna come from the Israelites uh, God's chosen people certainly felt stress they experienced stress they knew exactly what that was about um, they had uh, a boss that if they didn't keep up production, they were gonna get killed. They had huge uh, deadlines. They're building the pyramids, no less. Big construction projects. And a lot of expectations put on them, and they had huge amounts of stress. They re reacted to that stress in that environment in one really cool, important way. They prayed. So the Israelites prayed. They prayed. Here's what the Bible says that's pretty interesting about that. In Exodus chapter 3 and verse 7, it says, Then the Lord told him, speaking to Moses, I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. 
God said, I have heard their cries of distress because of their harsh slave drivers. Yes, I am aware of their suffering. And so when it came to stress, the children of Israel, their reaction to it was, let's pray. The one who can relieve our stress. We have no power. We have no ability to fix this. We can't do this on our own, which is where stress comes from. It's, it's, it comes from outside influences that we can't fix on our own, that we can't repair, that we can't do anything about. And they said, you know, in light of that, what we're going to do is we're going to pray. And the incredible thing is, is that when they prayed, the Bible said, God says, I heard them. I heard their prayers. I, I listened to them. He said, I'm aware. Not only was he aware, but listen to this. He said, I've certainly seen the oppression of my people. That means that not only did he listen to what they said, but he also came and he saw it. And he did something about it. You know, in our stress, we look for all kinds of options. We look for all kinds of answers. We look for something that we can use to overcome the things that vex us. God says, why don't you pray? Why don't you ask me? Because I'll come see and I will be your deliverer. I, I will do something about it. We're going to learn God's answer to stress. And so if you want to, and you're ready, if you're ready to give up some of that stuff that's pushing you, then you can listen today and you're going to discover God's hope and God's answer for the stress in your life.